Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Half Gazette, here with the attacks on the no fly zone base. A lot of you guys wanted to see this thing in action, see if it was really as good as I was talking it up to be. So, in this video, I'm showing all of the attacks that you guys, my Town Hall 9 subscribers, had on this base. Um, first of all, shout out to Amandra for the base, uh, a clan mate. If she didn't let me use her base, none of this would have been possible. So, I really appreciate uh, her allowing me to use this. Uh, uh, Max Town Hall 9 base. Um, so I wanted to get that out of the way first. Uh, but anyway, getting back to the base here, um, basically, I already went through the ideas in the last video, so check that out if you're wondering why it's laid out. This video is just showing some of the replays on it, and I think there's maybe a few tweaks I would make looking back on it. But um, regardless, this base defended, I think, 11 out of 12 attacks. Or was it 10 out of 11 attacks? There were either 11 or 12 attacks on this base. Only one of them got the three star. And uh, that's and people were able to see the other people attacking. So it wasn't like these were all fresh hits either. Which uh, means this base did incredibly well. Uh, so I'm super proud of it. I definitely recommend either copying it or building a similar base. Which is probably the best option. And it should serve you very well in war. I'll go through um, towards the end some of the changes I would, I would make. But this is going to be a pretty long video because I'm going to show not every attack it would be too much to show every attack but most of the attacks and uh, I think I wanted to uh, show most people that were there and also show a lot of different attacks that we used on it so you can see how it fares against different things this first attacker is uh, Ryan or Ryan and uh, he is um, coming in with a dragon attack so a lot of you guys said uh, just quake the queen in there I did add that extra layer of walls that I said I would uh, which makes the person have to use the quakes they can't just use the wall breakers so anyway he uh, uses the king to funnel on one side and the king actually walks in which helps um, so everything looks you know like it's gonna go pretty well here the queen's going into the base a few healers peel off onto the king but boom seeking air mines I put those there on purpose um, that's a great thing to use to counter the uh, the queen charge. Two seeking air mines. She's down to two healers. The rage will still keep her up, but um, it's just a matter of time, especially once the CC troops come out. I think, yeah, right there, the CC troops engage her, and she will go down. I think he might miss the ability. That might have prolonged it a little bit, but regardless, I don't think this would have been a three-star either way. He sent a Lava Hound in, which popped pretty quickly, so the dragons are on their own. They are pretty tanky, and he does have a few spells for them because he doesn't use those on his queen but still the dragons go down pretty fast there's two seeking air mines in that area too uh, so two of the dragons are going to go down to the seeking air mines also the baby dragon doing a little bit of work on them and all that damage they get hung up on the cc the uh, dark elixir storage there's a little bit of hp in that area then all the expos the teslas there's one air defense still left up just too much for these dragons to handle uh, awesome defense for that base and yes i'll get it out of the way i was rooting for the base to defend um, as much as i like my subscribers I had to uh, root in favor of the base I built so one successful attack these aren't in any order um, they're in a little bit of an order but not really I wanted to mix them up to show um, the, the the most important attacks and kind of uh, how it did against each type of attack uh, going through it in order so this next one is a baby dragon attack um, this is Bruno's first attack we'll see another attack from him later towards the end of the video but this is his first try at a baby dragon attack and I think what he learned um, from watching the first attacker, I, maybe he didn't watch the first attacker, but anyway, I, he probably suspected some kind of seeking air mines, so he couldn't come directly at those four air defenses, because if you do the same quakes right on top of that cannon uh, by the two air defenses there, you're going to lose two healers, it's not going to work out for you. So he's trying a little bit of an... Uh, sideways entry where he's coming in on the side of the base he's going to drop the quakes a little bit deeper and have a more invasive queen entry so right there wall breakers in uh, the king and a few bowlers that was a very tricky part of the plan as well he wants the king and the bowlers to walk around the outside of the base and get the next two air defenses which is definitely doable with a level i think it's level 30 king in there and uh, some bowlers so definitely a very doable 
uh, attack right here. You can see the king is doing a good job staying outside the base. He almost came in, but the queen took out some buildings, which made him continue on. There's only a few defenses out there. So this outside part of the base is pretty good against hogs, but stuff that stays uh, outside the base or stuff that has, you know, is as strong as the queen isn't going to be phased by the spring traps or uh, some of the stuff I put inside there. But anyway, right here, he drops down that rage, but it's not enough. The queen is going to go down, uh, not on that camp. In a bit. She steps up here, giant bomb, just where we need it, uh, takes the queen out, and uh, we'll see how he improves on this plan towards the end of the video. But basically the queen's down, so he's taken out all four air defenses, which is technically his goal, but there's still that stronghold in the middle of the base, or on the top part of the base there, and that is so air heavy. He has a lava hound, he has balloons, he has baby dragons, but still the queen is up, which is very important because the queen is going to bust that lava hound very quickly. Uh, the haste will move those balloons in, but there's still a number of defenses plus all those air traps to contend with. A few baby dragons up top that will start moving in, uh, they're going to lock onto the the king. The king's actually a pretty good tank for the baby dragons because it takes them a while to take him out and they have to run around chasing him so definitely he plays a good role here. Um, quite a few defenses plus the queen left up. Wasn't able to get the job done but was definitely uh, on to something and we'll see how that works out later in the video. Let's move on to the next attack though. I believe this one is Lil Sebastian. He had a number of attacks. I think I'm only showing one just for the sake of time here in this video. This video is going to be super long anyway, probably close to 20 minutes, so i got to cut them down a little bit. Um, I'm not sure if this was his best attack, but all his attacks were pretty close, I think, all above 75%. And also there's that troll Tesla. I don't think we've seen it be a factor yet, but there is a troll Tesla at the top of the base. I switched it up on you guys because initially I, when I built the base, I think I had it in the left corner. So I wanted to, uh, if anyone was trying to plan based off that, I wanted to throw them a curveball. Uh, but right here, Lil Sebastian's coming in with a hog attack, so something a little bit different. We can see how this base does against one of these hog attacks. Um, his heroes are a little bit lower level, so that's definitely a factor. Um, you know, I'm not going to ignore that. So, level 30 heroes might have made a difference. We'll see how how well he does with the uh, the teenage heroes, so to speak. Drops down that jump to let everything move forward. But you can see the the um, parallel compartments that are uh, going the long way. They prevent the troops from moving around the base that much. It kind of limits the mobility. So he has to drop a few hogs, and even them, uh, they don't get very deep into the base. A giant bomb goes off. Uh, the bowlers are starting to go down right here. Here come the hogs. But like I said, guys, this bottom part of the base is by no means a friendly base for hogs to have to go through. Uh, there's giant bombs, and it's spaced out, so you have to use a heal spell, um, most likely for each segment. Segment. There's that first giant bomb segment by the wizard tower, the middle area that has all the skeleton traps, the single bombs, and the bomb tower. Then up top you have another wizard tower, a couple mortars, another giant bomb. So the splash damage is really evenly distributed, meaning um, it forces the attacker to have a lot of heal spells. Right here he doesn't have any heals left and he hits that giant bomb. Uh, that being said, there's still quite a few hogs left up. I mean the giant bomb isn't as deadly as it was before uh, it got nerfed a little bit or yeah before it got nerfed so he j does have a few hogs left up although they won't get very deep into the these last they will get deep into the last few defenses and i think they might actually get that archer tower too but he's not going to have enough time that spring trap definitely helped between the uh and, oh and right there he doesn't even get it yeah um almost got that archer tower and i think had that hog got that archer tower this might have been a three star because you'll see how close he actually gets. I uh, will go ahead and speed it up a little bit right here because he has um, pretty much all these trash buildings as a given. It's just those last few buildings up top. The town hall obviously has a lot of HP, so he's not going to get through that. Um, I think actually the troll Tesla was still up. That's the difference. The troll Tesla, I believe, is still alive and well at the top of the base, so maybe wouldn't have been as close, but um, let's move on. See the next attacker here. This is Esoteric Kismet, and he's just bringing straight up dragons. Um, had to show this attack, no offense to Esoteric. Um, I think, you know, I see where he was coming from with the plan, but guys, this is the no-fly zone base, and 
it's a no-fly zone. So let's watch these dragons and these few lava hounds. It's basically a mass attack. I think what he's planning is he'll drop in his king and his queen towards the end to clean up those last few air defenses. But even these level 4 dragons and uh, level 2 lava hounds that he has, which are fairly powerful at Town Hall 9, are not going to go deep into this base at all. Uh, the dragons are down, and I think the lava hounds will go through in just a moment. Um, or maybe not. I Actually, yeah, if I remember correctly... Uh, these dragons go down so fast, um, drop one by one. The solution is not any kind of mass dragon. The dragons can be a support troop, but there needs to be something else uh, kind of carrying the weight. I'm not sure if he lost connection, but either way, I think this um, demonstrated, and no offense to Esoteric if he lost connection, uh, I don't think the plan was that bad. He didn't even drop all his troops, but um, it just goes to show how powerful that base is, how quickly it takes out those uh, five or six uh, level four dragons. So moving on to the next attack, this is Destiny, and his plan was actually pretty interesting, and I, I wish he got to do it again, but I had to go, and a lot of people were kind of jumping in before he could. So I, this was an interesting plan. And he drops down the quake spells and he has eight earthquakes so he gets to basically let his troops move through the entire base that means he only has one rage but he has the ice wizards and i was thinking should i not let people use ice wizards because they are you know maybe in like a week or so they might not even be in the game anymore is it worth uh having them affect the attack so i went ahead and didn't i didn't say anything let them use ice wizards might have given him a slight advantage uh, but as he makes his way through that first giant bomb really took out a lot of his wizards and i think that was a key there that really takes out some of his dps even though he still has the bowlers the king and the queen uh, so stepping through the base here uh, gets the queen taken out he's getting very deep he has eight hogs to deploy so he can kind of uh, drop those around the base as as he wants just taking out some of these defenses that the kill squad can't reach there is you know a few cannons off to the right there that have taken out a few bowlers and they're kind of holding their own on that side of the base a little island over there but everything's moving through the golems are still pretty healthy that's one thing guys if the if your troops move through quickly the golems have a lot of hit points if you have like four of them they are not gonna die against a town hall nine base there's just not enough dps unless they're exposed for a long period of time so anyway, the golems actually step up into this really uh, effective position up there, which makes it so they can tank for essentially any type of troop that walks up. So he has wizards, he has the queen that still has her ability, she is level 30 as well. So everything is converging, there's a minute and 15 seconds left, I thought this might be a 3 star. Um, I think the Tesla up top is going to take out those two wizards. Uh, they go out of the screen right here, and I didn't move up, so I didn't pan upwards. So I assume because no wizard leaves, um, the Tesla got them. Yeah, nothing is coming out of there. The Tesla did get them. Yeah, there's the Tesla. Um, the queen moving through. Looks like it's going to be close, but guys, as you can see here, um, that wizard tower is going to take out the wizards. And from there, the queen, without her ability, can't get through the walls quick enough. She won't get to that last Tesla. We'll go ahead and fast forward a little bit here. It's going to be a 99% two-star, um, a heartbreaker, I know, for Destiny, very close, and I think, you know, if he had like a balloon or something for that, um, that Tesla, you know, that would have been great, but uh, there it is, not going to allow him the three-star. Let's keep moving, though. We have uh, Rayan, again, let's look at another one of his attacks. Um, this time, he's bringing a hog attack. I think he brought... Um, what, did he bring a baby dragon attack? I can't remember now. No, that was Bruto. Um, they're all mixing up in my head, but regardless, this is going to be kind of a queen charge, I believe. He's setting the stage for a queen charge, creating the funnel on each side here. And there goes the queen. She's down with her four healers. Basically, the idea here, I think, is to wall breaker the queen into that middle part of the base. Uh, she doesn't have access to every defense because, like I said, guys, the way the compartments are segmented, if she wall breakers into that middle compartment right there, and you can see here, he kind of opens up the entire, both those compartments, but she still can't reach that top archer tower. Um... The expo's kind of set back. It's not as easy as it looks to do a queen charge here because the compartments are set up to try to inhibit that. So the queen's going to step up. It's going to take a lot of rages because there's so much point damage up there. And I think there's like three archer towers on her. 
Those Expos will get on her too. So a lot of point damage on her. He's going to have to invest quite a few spells. But he still has the ability, which definitely helps. That Wizard's doing work on the outside right there. Takes out an Archer Tower. That's great value. Uh, he He's starting to hit some of those Seeking Air Mines that are in the base. So either side, if you do a Queen Charge from the like direct top or direct bottom, you do have to encounter those Seeking Air Mines. That's one of the strengths of this base. But I thought this attack really exemplified the strength of this base against heal spells. Um, don't know what that was. <laughs> uh, I forget that notification. But it exemplifies the strength against heal spells because he has a wave of hogs coming into the base here. But they're hitting the spring traps, they're hitting the giant bombs. And what really helps is that central expo. Because as they get to those air sweepers, they have the skeletons on them. And there just doesn't seem to be a heal for that last expo. So the hogs go down. You can see, they're, you know, once they don't have that heal on them, once there's the skelly traps on them in that high HP expo, they just can't seem to get through the base quick enough. So this will all make a little more sense when we see how this base was actually three-starred. And uh, kind of what I recommend for the future future if you do use this base which I definitely recommend um, even more so after watching the attacks it's a very strong base like I said I think it was 10 for 11 or 11 for 12 um, that's an extremely good rate for Town Hall 9 so definitely recommend it but we'll get to that attack and I think here yeah here it is this is the attack that got the three star guys Bruto, Bruno I think I was calling him Bruto Bruno the only attacker to get the three star. A lot of people were really close. There were a lot of 95%, but he was the only one to finish this base off. Let's see how he did it here. Drops in the wall breakers. Pretty similar plan to the first attack um, from him that we saw back towards the beginning of the video. He's dropping down the queen while breaking her in. I think he has five healers, which I think is a change. I believe he only had four healers on that first attack he did. So he's going to go ahead and really um, make sure the queen is taken care of. Drops the king, drops the bowlers. They're going to do their job taking out those two air defenses that the queen can't reach. There's the quake spells opening the base up. And really the key against this base is taking advantage of the fact that the, the cannons don't have as much range. And really that bottom part of the base is a little bit um, uh, suspect as far as queen charges go. If you avoid the two seeking air mines that I put by the bomb tower kind of, if you, if you come from a different angle like Bruno does here, um, the base is wide open for a queen walk. So he gets all this taken out and you'll see how that allows the, uh, the air part of the attack to just flow much better. The queen is so powerful when she... Um, when she survives this late in the attack, he has another rage for her, plus her ability is still in the bag. Starting to drop in these baby dragons. The king is still up. Uh, the bowlers are still up behind him. So got great value. Just an amazing uh, plan at the bottom here to take out that bottom part of the base. He really hasn't lost many troops uh, for everything he's invested. So here come the baby dragons, and he'll actually end up swagging quite a bit of troops that we'll see towards the end here. My recommendation, if you're going to use this base, is, first of all, I think it's pretty solid already. It defends against a lot, as we can see. This is a very specific attack, so I think it's hard to, you know, plan certain things for each specific attack. But now that we know this is one way to three-star the base, you might want to add a little bit more walls in there, or try to add more DPS in some way. Maybe make the Seeking Air Mines a little bit deeper into the base. Right here, you can see he swags five balloons and a Lava Hound. It's just mind-blowing how we have... Everyone else fail, and then he's swagging so much. Um, so awesome attack to Bruno. But like I said, it's it's hard to know, but you got to eliminate the queen walk or the queen charge from the side of the base somehow. Um, maybe you guys know more than I do in the comments. But um, I think the final verdict on this base is it's definitely a good base to use. I highly recommend it, guys. And uh, just make a few adjustments. Like I said, it should be good to go. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you guys for watching this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'll try to record some live action tomorrow. So look forward to that. See you guys then. Bye. Sectatron out.